many hunters are having, from what I see on YouTube, they're having a hard time uh, refurbishing the 5x10 uh, trailer because they want to basically fit their four, four wheelers and get a bed, table, and uh, a counter. But I'm going to show you how to do it. I know it's small, but you're going to be amazed on what you can fit in your 5x10. So I'll show you. We'll start first with the uh, These are the controls for the lights and pretty much everything else. And by the way, this uh, trailer here is for, for my boss. He's the hunter, not me. This is the battery. This one is the toilet. And this one where the heater is gonna be and another battery. Now, he specifically asked for the counter to be epoxy. This epoxy is pretty cheap, it's not expensive, it's five, uh, $50 a gallon. It does 33 square feet, uh, three cold salt. You need to apply it for three cold salt. So he wanted the shelving and his counter uh, to be epoxy. Uh, it's very durable, you can't scratch it, very inexpensive way. It's raining so we have to do it fast. the back. I'll show you. So you wanted a table. And a bed. So it can be comfortable with. Right now, all what I needed or all what I had in clearance is six inches that's it in order for the four wheeler to fit properly up here he's gonna have we're gonna hang the uh, the wraps for him and he hasn't bought them yet but this is where it is and the bed I have to divide it in half but everything has to be pretty much close to the wall otherwise the four wheeler will not fit the table very simple. Just it's all hinges, nothing special, and this is a steel angle. The same thing on this side. So what I did for these are not to move while the table is down. Just get a, a small chain. And there you go. And perfect. Good height. The same thing with the table. It's all on the table. I didn't have to build anything special for that. Now, what did you do to the ceiling there? The ceiling, uh, you put wood panels and you also created lighting? So basically the ceiling, as you can see, is cedar, cedar planks, really nice. He had them left over from something else he was doing, but it's really nice and I love the smell of it. The plywood, it's good one side. Uh, uh, they're a little bit expensive, especially now with the wood, uh, you know, has gone up and in price uh, but it looks nice i chose the <laughs> i chose the red he didn't really like it at the beginning but i told him that we needed a contrast between the actual wood color and otherwise it's going to be all one color it's not going to look good but it's up to him and his wife if they want to repaint it or not now as far as the bed so like i said the ceiling all these spotlights i think it's a beautiful it came out to be a beautiful ceiling we go with the bed. If you see these angles, what I did is a 2 by 12 with a spacer. I'm going to show you the... So this is the 2 by 12 
and this here as you can see the slot right here those will have to fit in here so the bed doesn't move Can you get it out see how it fits perfectly you also want it to protect the bed so we epoxy the bed as well so this leaf is smaller than this one it's because I have to live, have the table on this side I can't make it bigger than this and this side the same and here you have five feet by six feet bed it's huge so you got your table your bed chair whatever you want to put here the toilet counter and a shelf and he's set for his hunting which is i think he's going hunting next week and the main thing is too once the bed's put away you can fit it you can fit an atv in here right exactly great design for sure definitely takes one to really think about that but easy for you to do yeah and very inexpensive as you see like there's nothing really that expensive other than the wood but everything else is pretty basic you compact it on the side and you have i think it's about 43 inches i forgot now you have 43 inches uh or 45 inches. now are these here are these uh the clips to put down here so the rv can climb no, up on no no this one when he puts his four wheeler he ties his four wheeler on this uh on this railing. now the ramps they're gonna be hanged right here when he needs them he takes them out and he places them right and that's it hopefully i gave you a good idea and good luck with your project